Hi, my name is Natasha. I'm the Associate Curator here at the Arnett Art Museum. And today, I wanted to take a couple minutes and talk to you about the works of Bruce Muirhead, who is one of the artists we have featured in our Three Americans exhibition. Now, all of the works that we have by Muirhead are paintings, but he's also a printmaker. And I think it's really important to understand this when looking at his work and looking at his process because it is so much so informed by printmaking. So Muirhead makes a lot of etchings and this is a specific type of printmaking favored by the old masters such as Rembrandt. Um, an example of his etching is shown here. And with etching, you have to take away from the surface material, which is the exact opposite of painting, where you have to add material to a surface in order to make the image. But with printmaking, and this specific type of printmaking, artists actually start with um, a metal plate. Oftentimes it's a copper plate. And they take different instruments and tools, and they actually carve lines into the plate. So they actually have to carve out areas of the plate. And then afterwards, they'll coat the plate in ink. And all of the ink will get absorbed into the different lines that they incise into the plate. And then they wipe the plate clean. And then they roll it through a machine, laid down atop a piece of paper. So when the paper comes out, what you see is that all of the ink that was caught in these lines have been transferred onto the page to make the image itself. Now with print, this kind of printmaking, it's really challenging to, to shade areas of the image because you are working with solid lines, not differing shades of lines. It's one shade, it's just the ink, right? So printmakers have to get a little creative and in order to get this shaded effect, what they do is oftentimes they'll make more lines, right? So I don't know if you could see here, but in this image we have um, lines that are crosshatched. So some going this way, some going the opposite way and kind of clustered to give the effect of a shaded area. And then the rest of the image is just defined by these lines. Now, I say that this is really important to understanding Bruce's process because when you look at his paintings, um, it's really cool. You, you see a lot of these lines that kind of mimic a print, a print's lines or an etching's lines. So that's really just fun. So he uses these lines heavily to, in this image at least, to create the chair in which the figure is sitting. So up here at the top of the chair you see it's more solid, right, like a painter's chair. And then as you look down, the, the chair itself kind of starts to, to disintegrate into a series of lines. And it's still being defined by the lines. And then up here you can see in her lap there's also a, a cluster of these very etching-like lines that give the lap a shaded definition. And this is just, like I said, I think it's really neat um, and really fun. But I think it, his, his activity as a printmaker also informs the way in which he approaches painting, not just through these lines, but also the painting itself. Now, Bruce says that when he starts a painting, he'll build up an image, and then he'll start to remove areas of the image, right? Just like printmaking, it's a subtractive process, you're removing. So what he'll do is he'll build up this image, and then sometimes he'll take steel wool and scrape away areas of the, of the work, or he'll take paint remover, and then he'll kind of wipe away areas of the painting. And he said he likes to leave traces of this. His process is really important 
to his work. It's not just the image itself, but the way in which the image was made and the traces of that. So if you're interested in this work, we will have it up through August uh, with Three Americans. And if you'd like to learn more about Muirhead and his work, I will be speaking with him in May on the 14th via Zoom. You're all welcome to sign up you, and join us. You can find more information about this on our website and our social media channels. Thank you.